Hey there, welcome to the next part of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Run. I'm your host Heath, and I'm sure you've noticed that I haven't been around for about three or f two or three weeks, I suppose. Um, why is that? Five days I can quite easily account for. I was lazy. Um, <laughs> I could butter that up for you, but no, it was just lazy for a few days. Um, the real fun is what happened the sixth day and that would be waking up in pain um, specifically I woke up with a feeling of a really big knot of pressure in my lower right just below my stomach now if it was on the lower left you would think appendicitis um, if you didn't know exactly where the appendix was and you went appendicitis anyway, congratulations, you got it right. Um, I had not started recording at this time, but around three months ago, I got quite sick. I was unable to move because it hurt. <laughs> I was unable to eat because I would throw it back up. I would alternatively run a temperature or lose body heat. I was pretty much regulated to a couch for the entire time. And yeah, had a miserable lot for about the two weeks that I was like that. Now during that time, about halfway through, I woke up in much the same similar the similar situation that sent me to hospital. Um, after my five days of laziness. However, because of all the other symptoms the first time I went, it sort of got moved to the side to be dealt with later. And so I was given morphine-based painkillers, which is just... I mean, you say that and you know it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> and, you know, I was given a saline drip to get some proper fluid into me. And booted out the door to make room because, you know, it's a hospital. <laughs> they need to do hospital things with hospital-y people. Mainly elderly folks. Just saying. Anyway, <laughs> um... So, I go into the hospital this second time. Now, I woke up at about 6.30, was in the car to the hospital at quarter to six, quarter to seven, and made it to the big building around 7 o'clock. Of course, there's a bit of time between getting in the building and getting through the... I was about to call it customs. Through the... Ah. Triage nurse questions and all that. I don't know what to call it. The emergency ward... Exam? I don't know. Um, that's a little puzzle there I'm not going to do. And I'm not going to do a double battle either, don't you worry. Um, so, by quarter past seven, I was in a waiting room, and there was one other patient waiting, as well as that patient's sister, I think. I don't really remember. Um, about... Broken roll, hooray. Or just a little hiccup, I don't know. Around two hours later of me just sitting there in a lot of pain. The woman got in. I couldn't tell you what was wrong with her. There was no physical signs of illness, but then again, with me, there wasn't anything really either. And so she got taken in, and at 11 o'clock, I got through to the actual emergency ward, opposed to the emergency ward waiting room. Um health system is not good. I don't want to say too much because, like, I've got no fucking idea how it would be made. Like, I, I know what it needs to be better. Like, shorter waiting times, more doctors, blah 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 blah. But I've got no idea how to get there, so I can't really commentate, can I? Um, but yeah, I was seen at 11 o'clock I got in. Was quickly given proper painkillers and all that, and by three o'clock, 
I was in an operating theatre because a surgeon thought it was that important based on my temperature, the pain I was feeling, the poke and prod they do. Um, so I had appendicitis, I mentioned that already. And now here's a very fun phrase, I want you to try this phrase out. Biological waste. I had over two kilos of biological waste removed from my body. That's a lot of bad stuff to be sitting around. Um, if you don't know what appendicitis is, it it's not uncommon, I suppose. It's, it is probably the most common surgical procedure, an appendectomy. Um, we, ha we all have an organ called an appendix, assuming you haven't had it removed. And your appendix sits lower left of the stomach. Um, it's an evolutionary throwback organ. Uh, what it did was dissolve different foodstuffs. Like, it was essentially a sack of specialized stomach acid. This is... I don't... I've never studied this. This is just the sort of stuff I pick up. I may be somewhat wrong in the details here, but... So your appendix had this special stomach acid that it would churn out every now and then. And as we evolved, it became less necessary because we became more able to treat our food pre-consumption. You know, cooking makes a massive difference to what your food is like going down the pipes. What do I have out there? Yeah, good. Um, so... It became a less necessary organ, but it's, it, it's not just going to disappear because of that. So we all end up with this appendix that we don't use, and occasionally it, for want of a better word, malfunctions. And that's when you get ap appendicitis, and I believe it's a case where the acid it produces sort of leaks out, I suppose. And yeah, I had it for over two months, over three months I suppose by now. I'm not really sure. At least two months, at least two months. I had it for that long, walking around with it malfunctioning inside my body, spraying out pain and all that, and yeah, it resulted with me <laughs> having over two kilos of biological waste removed from my body. Um, it really is a fun phrase. Okay, I can't remember how to do this one. This is my first time playing Pokemon in ages. It's... It's been a while. Okay, we do that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just so it's sort of even. It's not even, but like if you flip it, I'm sure you can figure out what I mean. You're all a clever bunch. Um... I had keyhole surgery. There's a proper medical term, but I don't know it. I, I'm just gonna call it keyhole surgery, where they make very small incisions and using very precise movements and cameras and stuff, I assume. Very little cameras on the ends of rods, I think. They perform the surgery through these tiny little holes in your body. I have three. One is just below my belly button, like in that little fold of skin. One's two centimeters below that, and then the last is just off to the side a bit, on the left. Um, so they cut up your whatever they need to and remove it piece by piece. It's a medical marvel because it means you don't end up... Oh, I should have changed who was at the front. It means you don't lose. Oh, well, you don't have to have the huge scar, the bikini line, I suppose. <laughs> and... Although that doesn't sound like a a massive wow, this this isn't happy to be used again. Although that doesn't sound like a massive difference. Every time they perform surgery on you, it does mean they need normally. It does mean they need to cut you open. I need to stress that they cut you open, which does damage to your body. It's not just a case of oh, this is meant to. This is doing. This is part of an operation to make me better. So this won't matter in the least. It's a fucking slice on your body. That's never a good thing. And although I 
admittedly sort of regret having a scar. Scars are, in my opinion, scars are cooler than tattoos, because scars always have a story behind them, and most of the time it'll be a lot more interesting than I got drunk and thought getting a tattoo of your name would be a fantastic idea. I mean, what can my scar, if I had a proper scar, you know, oh, I had appendicitis for two months. Fahrenheit is getting owned by a mighty animal. Oh, no, he's not. He's done the job. My Pokemon are under-leveled, aren't they? I, I need to fix that. And I've got just enough time to beat up Archie here. Uh, it's been a while. It has been a long while. Okay, can... I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? Fuck me. <laughs> Oh, I can almost hear all of your enraged fury. You don't give a shit that I just got out of hospital. But how dare he risk Fahrenheit's life like that? Whew. And now I switch Kaboom in, but it's okay, because Archie uses a full stop. Her dear. No, no, Thunder. I like Thunder. I don't think there's any animation of it that's ever looked less than a giant bolt of lightning is striking something. In this case, three giant bolts of lightning, but... Hell, the more the merrier when it's aimed at my enemies. Um, that's a Sharpedo. They're glass cannons. So... Shockwave. Glass, wet, dark cannons. <laughs> Generation 6. New type. Glass. <laughs> yeah. Um. Alright, well, we'll. I sp and just to cover my bases here, the reason I spit. I didn't make videos after the appendectomy was obviously I had a recovery period, and this is the third day out of hospital for me, and now I'm able to get up and walk around, although I am still outpaced by geriatric ward patients. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, I interrupted the cool bit of music. It's just this little... <laughs> it's not possible for the god of rain to make it rain heavily. I'm Maxi, because this happened to me first, now I have more superiority! Yeah! <laughs> Maxi, Archie, dude, it still happened to you! Maxi, STFU! <laughs> That's what I get from that exchange. Heath, follow me! This wretched scene. Fuck you, Archie! You fucked up! Hey, hey, don't blow it! I like this music, by the way. Well, duh! They're fucking Kyogre and Crudon! Anyway! Oh, bollocks, I was going to end it. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, next time we get to enjoy this actually fairly big, epic moment within a Pokemon game. Uh, but for now, I am sorry for leaving you guys high and dry for so long. And who knows, there may be something in the works to make it up for you in the not-so-near future. Alright, until tomorrow, see you later.